there was something called the Million MAGA March in Washington, D.C. Now, the Million MAGA March was right after the election was lost, and it was in the height of the stolen election stuff that all the MAGA people were really getting into. I was on book tour at the time. Shout out to Always a Soldier. You can still get that out there on Amazon. May do something else with that this fall. May add a little more new material onto it. I don't know. Anyway, I was on book tour in D.C. at the time, and I decided to just kind of stick around for a little bit uh, for the Million Maga March to see what this was all about. And I got to tell you guys, the energy in D.C. was so dark. It was ugly. As soon as the sun went down after that Million Maga March, number one, it was just the, the energy was just weird because you have at that point in time so many people that were coming to D.C. just to clash. All right. MAGA types, Antifa types, all of that stuff. They were coming to D.C. just to antagonize each other. And after the sun went down that night, I was like, I need to get off of these streets. And this was never covered in mainstream media, but if you were on Twitter at the time, and Twitter was under sort of regime control, so they were hiding a lot of information, suppressing a lot of information at that time on Twitter. If you were on Twitter at the time, you would see there were clashes, there was MAGA versus Antifa, there was riots all on the streets. It was absolutely insane, and that stuff was mainstream media did not cover this at all. I think that that was a precursor to January 6th. I think that a lot of people in DC knew exactly what was coming. They knew exactly how to bait these people. They knew exactly who to entrap. And again, that's not saying that it was right um, for any of those people to do what they did because it wasn't. And I remember losing tens of thousands of followers on Instagram at the time when I was just like, you know, this wasn't right. Like this behavior wasn't right. So two things can be true that these people were led and baited to D.C. by people who don't care about them. And I'm talking about the Stop the Steal people. And these people raised millions of dollars that nobody knows where it went to, uh, which, by the way, none of that stuff has gone to the legal fees or to help protect any of these people that were led to D.C. by people that were there to deceive them. All right. And. That's, again, one of those things that you're not allowed to say if you're MAGA, and I'm not in that MAGA world anymore, so I'll say it. They left these people out to dry, high and dry. You think that I got left out high to dry because, you know, some some jerks sort of, like, harassed me? No. These people that fed into all of this lies and all of this stuff and ended up in D.C. taking over that capital were led into a trap, and they got thrown under the bus, And it is really, really unfortunate. But I think somebody really needs to be saying about this because, look, the thing about the MAGA thing is that there's different levels of protection for different people that are in that world. If you're very high up in that world, you will be protected. You will have security. You will be safe. If you're just a regular dude or chick that gets caught up in that stuff, And you go to D.C. or wherever they try to get you to thinking that you're fighting for America, you're fighting for whatever, these people will hang you out to dry and keep on moving. Now, thank God Isabella is really only charged with a couple of misdemeanors. Hopefully she can get off without jail time. But and if I do like a deep dive episode and do a real deep dive into the J6 prisoners and all of that other stuff, there are so many of these people that, and we're talking 5, 10, 15 plus year prison sentences. And all that stop the steal money and all that Trump pack money and all of that stuff is not going to help these people out. Now, you can say whatever you want about me. You can call me secret Democrat, secret lib, MAGA trader, whatever, but that's just the truth. And so anybody that's really caught up in that, that is not protected in that way, if I like if I can reach you guys and tell you do not ever put yourself on the line for these people because you will become Trump roadkill.